I had this weirdo follow me in my car at the grocery store. And you could tell he was crazy just by looking at him because he had about four teeth in his mouth. <laughs> That's not an estimate. I'm running up from three and a half. <laughs> he had that one eye that had just gone rogue. You know what I mean? Like it looked like it was being remotely controlled by a cashier at Register 2. <laughs> and he comes up and he's like, hey, hey. You look good in your pants. <laughs> that was it. That was his pickup line right there. And then re he reached into his jacket pocket, pulled out a piece of chicken, and started to eat it. Yeah, which is every girl's dream, right? And then he says to me, so are you married? I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm married. And his response threw me, like completely threw me, because he went, Why'd you do that? <laughs> what about everybody else? <laughs> I'm like, you know, it's funny. Nobody gave a shit that I was single before I got married. Nobody cared. Where have you been, huh? <laughs> yeah, where were you when I had to pay my cousin $50 to take me to the fucking prom and she didn't show up? Where were you then? You were nowhere. Where were you when I cut off all my hair because I thought I would look like Halle Berry? <laughs> and instead everybody called me Bill for two years. <laughs> And you put your chicken in your pocket and help me load some groceries into my car like a gentleman. And then his eyes widened, you know, individually. And he simply turned and walked away without saying anything at all. That's well, a, a tough moment. It's, it's the moment that I realized I'm too much work for the crazy guy to bother me.